I'll hang on, operator. See you later, chum buddy. I got a brunch date with a redhead. What a da 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 da. <laughs> yes? Long distance? Oh, he's out? Well, would you please tell Colonel Parker I'll be waiting for his call at Mayor Peoples' office. That's extension 4 -0. Thank you. Oh, hi. It's the People's Choice coming right up. My old Marine boss, Colonel Parker, has been after me to come down to Mexico for some pheasant shooting. Of course, I'll have to convince my secret bride, Mandy, that she can do without me for a few days. Oh, I'm also taking along Cleo. She's an excellent hunting dog. If I ever find the dog, I'm going to stop hunting. <laughs> the People's Choice. Starring Jackie Cooper. I'd love to come down, Colonel. But first, I'll have to check with Mandy. Oh, she's my wi why 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 she's my fiance. <laughs> oh no, she doesn't tell me what to do. But I don't do it till I check with her. <laughs> a husband is a man with the nerve extracted. <laughs> I'll call you back. Thanks. Goodbye. Hello, darling. Mandy, don't move. Let me feast my eyes on your loveliness. Ah. Uh... You're like a beautiful piece of fragile Dresden china. He ought to feed that corn to the pheasants. <laughs> oh, guess what? Colonel Parker called me from Mexico just to ask how that gorgeous fiancé of mine is. You can go hunting, dear. Well, I shouldn't turn him down, you know. I mean, when I pass the bar, he could be a big client. Go, darling. And he's got a big steel company. Go. And I'll only be gone four days. Go. What are you going to do while I'm gone for four days? Oh, I'll find things to do. Things? What things? Things. Things. I detest a jealous husband except when he's mine. I'll visit Angela in San Diego. You know, with a wife like you, I may not have to become a deceitful husband. <laughs> Well... Hello, Roger. Well, well, Roger Crutcher's back in town. How are you, Amanda? Business uh, going as usual, I see. Oh, well, how is New York? A bit poorer. I closed a deal that'll net yours truly $90,000. <laughs> Still wearing the same suit. <laughs> no, I'm sentimental. It was my grandfather's. Ah, uh, Mandy, Mandy, Mandy. How have you survived these months without me? Oh, I've struggled. The mayor asked me to meet him here. If you don't mind, I'll wait. Oh, please do. We'd love you to stay. <laughs> of course, I can't speak for Cleo. If he could, I'd be off the show. <laughs> Councilman, you should have married Mandy while I was away. Now you're having a chance. He's got a point. While the cat was away, the mice should have played. That cat doesn't know his mice. <laughs> I think I'll run over to the courthouse. Will you tell his honor I'll be back later? Now that yours truly has returned, you can say goodbye to those dull, inexpensive evenings. Uh, operator, I'd like to talk to Colonel Calvin Parker, Sombrero 3463, Tijuana, Mexico. You could have been Mrs. Roger Crutcher. You owe me a lot. First installment. And don't miss any payments. I was glad you didn't insult him. You were a perfect gentleman. Thank you. I couldn't think of anything nasty enough to say. <laughs> Hello, Colonel. Well, warn the pheasants, I'm on my way. Good deal, Sock. I'll be there Friday. What's that, Colonel? Oh, sure. No, no, really. Absolutely. Oh, no, no fooling. Yup, Mandy's been begging me to do it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sounds interesting. Hey, by the way, uh, do you have a hunting license? Oh, yes, I do. The last time Mandy and I were in T01, I took out a license. 
As a matter of fact, Mandy insisted on treating me to it. I sure appreciate your making all the arrangements. Oh, it's my pleasure, Sock. Say, didn't you mention that you own a bird dog? Oh, yes, sir. And you'll love her. She's a beauty, too. Good eyes, nice thick legs. <laughs> oh, by the way, how do you get to your ranch from the airport? I see. Uh-huh. Yeah, I got it. Fine. What's this? Congratulations, Your Honor. Thanks. What did I do? You're about to become a father-in-law. Oh. Father-in-law? Shh. Sock and Mandy. They're eloping to Tijuana Friday. Attention, bird dogs. I've just flushed a stool pigeon. Sock is too smart to get married before he passes the bar. He already has the license. Eloping to Tijuana. No. He knows he can't support my daughter yet. He also knows you're loaded. Hasta la vista. <laughs> Eloping Friday. Get the number of that truck. Goodbye. Hope you don't mind me using your phone, Your Honor. Not at all, my boy. Hello, Daddy. Sock, you've been after me for some time to take a little jaunt with you on your trailer. I think I'll take you up on it. Oh, fine, sir. Good. You need the rest. Let's leave Friday. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I have some other plans starting Friday. Oh? Uh, yes, sir. I'm going down to Mexico for some hunting. Oh, nice. And what are you hunting? Pheasants. Pheasants? I used to be pretty good with a shotgun. You going along with your fiancé? Mm-mm. Sock is dropping me off in San Diego. I'm staying with Angela Smurl. San Diego. Tijuana. Twenty miles apart as the pheasant flies. Well, you're old enough to go pheasant hunting, and you're old enough to go to San Diego. <laughs> And I'm old enough to know there's many a slip between a pheasant and a trip. Do you think what I think he's thinking, he's thinking? The problem is, now that we've been married for six months, how do I get my father-in-law to stop thinking we're eloping? <laughs> Licentia, Licentia. Hello? Senor? Is this the marriage Licentia Bureau Tijuana? Uh, soy Mayori de la Ciudad Nuevo. Si, sí, Senor Mayor. Si. Sí. ¿Qué puedo hacer por usted? For usted, for usted. Senor, did you issue a marriage licentia, I think, for Socrates Miller and Amanda Peoples? Peoples? Si, senor, I write licentias for Peoples. You do? <laughs> did? <laughs> sure, we only marry Peoples. What do you think we marry? Enchiladas? Senor. <laughs> I'm just trying to find out if you issued the marriage licentia for Socrates Miller and... Socrates? Si. Si, Socrates. Well, senor, this is Mexico. We had Pedros and Pablos. If you want a Socrates, call Greece. <laughs> Praise the Americano. Operator. Operator, I, I've been disconnected, I think. I don't like it, Mandy. Today your father suspects we're eloping. Tomorrow he can suspect we're actually married. Do you know what your father's doing out there? He's got someone on the phone trying to find out if you took out a marriage license. You see? We'll have to convince him he's on the wrong track. 
Here's a dog that's got the stuff. <laughs> he keeps snooping. He's sure to get the goods on the two of you. We'll be afraid to open our mouths around him. We'll look guilty even if we are guilty. We happen to be married. What are we supposed to do, break up? That's it. We'll break up. You're a genius. Hey, break... now, wait. No, 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 just for your father's benefit. You know, we'll sort of look like we're going our separate ways. Yeah. When you go to a drive-in movie, you'll sit in the car and she'll stay outside. <laughs> we'll, we'll act blasé. Ultra sophisticated. Mm-hmm. Mandy, old girl, would you mind awfully if I didn't take you out to dinner? I'm rather in the mood for a blonde tonight. Tonight you're taking me out. She can be blonde in an hour. <laughs> you're fighting me. We're supposed to be cool to each other. Just till it blows over. Okay. Darling, you go right ahead. May I suggest Laura? She's enchanting. Bully. Frankly, you bore me. Oh, Grand, I love you for saying it. I'm phoning Cadwell. Tonight I'm in the mood for a live one. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Mandy, I'm awfully glad you're happy with this new arrangement. Well, why not? I mean, it's the only way for sophisticates. Whenever you feel like dating another girl, feel free to tell me. Oh, hello, Daddy. Hmm. Your Honor, may I compliment you on your choice of daughters? What's all this guff? They decided to date other people. Our perspectives have expanded. Hmm. Our horizons have broadened. That's from sitting around every night. <laughs> Ennui has slowly set into our relationship. You two have been going together for a year. You're engaged. Oh, mind. We still love each other. Certainly. We're just sophisticates. I know when I'm being kidded. I think I'll try and make a date with Eloise. Maybe we're wrong. Might be okay if I called an old girlfriend. You do and I'll clobber you. I'm no sophisticate. I hope Eloise has nothing on this evening. <laughs> Hello? Eloise! Darling, this is Suck. How are you, darling? Now look, I'm just trying to keep your pants clean. <laughs> what are you doing tonight? I'm burning some meatballs and cut it out. She's taking a champagne tub. <laughs> oh, darling, how would you like to mumbo tonight? Now look, Suck, I know we're friends, but let's not go too far. <laughs> Toodaloo. Tonight she's mine. I uh, see here, you. This is my daughter you're pushing around. You're right, sir. She shouldn't be staying home alone. Uh, you'd better cancel that date. Yes, sir. I'm making a date for Mandy. Ricardo is back from Cuba. Oh, I adore the Latin type. What's he like? A cad. Ooh. A blind date. Oh, darling, Sock and I'll always be the best of friends. We just sort of despise each other somewhat. <laughs> I hope Ricardo is home. Hello, Ricardo. No, this is Eloise. <laughs> Ricardo, you remember Mandy, my fiance? How would you like to take her off my hands for a couple of weeks? Sock, will you stop hounding me? Talk to her, Ricardo. Hello, Ricardo, darling. Mandy? What's going on with you two? Why, I'd love to tango until the wee hours of the dawn. Oh, hang up, do you hear? Oh, Ricardo, you devil. See you. You... you. You've driven her to some strange devil. You've made her miserable. Oh, contraire, mon père. I'm sublimely happy. Don't try to fool me. Now you get out of here, for good. But, sir, sir, we're bubbling you. We're traveling onward and onward and onward and upward. And outward. <laughs> Wait. Take your dog with you. And that goes for this stuffed dog, too. <laughs>
Honey, you were great. Now, let's keep them convinced that we're cool to each other. The next time I see you, I'll punch you in the nose. <laughs> I wish you were going hunting with me instead of just Cleo. The only animal she ever points at is the mink. <laughs> you don't say. You mean right in front of you, Sock made a date with this Eloise and Mandy made a date with... Ricardo. <laughs> Your daughter used to be an innocent girl. He's made her a wild-eyed sophisticate. Doesn't sound logical. If you throw herself at any strange man, it should be me. One thing <laughs> puzzles me. Every phone call into my house and every phone call out of it is listed. That's so we can check on any crackpots who bother me if their taxes are too high or the water's too low, you know? Well, it seems this Eloise and this Ricardo have the same telephone numbers. Oh? And this is also Sock's number. Well, that's it. It's a hoax. He called his own phone and tricked you into believing he and Mandy were making dates. Then it was his roommate Rollo on the phone. Your Honor, I, I, I hate to get personal, but they're pulling your leg. You mean they're not breaking up? No. Mandy thinks she can pull my leg, does she? I'll give her double. You'll pull both her legs? <laughs> Please. We'll see how far she goes with this sophisticated act. You dig up a flashy girl for tomorrow night. A date for Mr. Sock Miller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know just the girl. Now, this girl is... I'm certainly glad you've forgiven me, sir. I finally realized that young people have a right to their own progressive ideas. Mm-hmm. Fine. After all, they laughed at young Columbus when he said the world was round. They were right. It's crooked. <laughs> oh, John. We're ready, John. Hello, sir. Hi. Mandy, why are you dressed up? Oh, I forgot to tell you. You're not going along. I've got <laughs> sock a date with a wonderful girl. Uh, yes, you've made a sophisticate out of me. Of course, you could call up this Ricardo chap. <laughs> oh, that's Linda. She's utterly charming. Nice little plan you worked out. Well, it's all your fault. You hadn't given me permission to go hunting. Oh, come in, my dear. She's probably homely as a bat. Oh. That bat could break up a ball game. <laughs> you like Councilman Miller very, very much. Oh, Mrs. Peoples, my daughter, Mr. Miller. May I present Miss Archer? How, How do you do? do? Likewise, I'm sure. Isn't she a darling? Which is Councilman Miller? <laughs> <laughs> I never met a statesman before. This bat has no belfry. <laughs> you thank me for this, my boy. Oops, I must make a phone call. You darlings, excuse me, please. Uh, Miss Archer, uh, I really don't think I can make it tonight. Nonsense, of course you will. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Linda, let me show you around. You're not trying very hard to get out of this. Tell her you're dead or something. Your father's testing us. We can't back out now. I think I should get better acquainted with my date. Oh, Linda. Uh, here. Uh, what do you think of our painting? Very smooth. <laughs> She's not my type. She's stupid. She's not built stupid. Forgot I was supposed to call the water commissioner. <laughs> Hello. Hello, water commissioner? No, it's me. Commissioner, we're going to have to cut off the water in the entire district. Wait! 
I'm still soapy. <laughs> Better get right over there. Sorry, I won't be able to keep our date. Oh, gee, and I was looking forward to this evening. Oh, what a shame. I'll see Linda to her bus. No, no, no sense canceling my reservations. You two kids go. Mandy won't mind. She won't? <laughs> she's a sophisticate. <laughs> yes, I, I can tell by her smile she's delighted. Uh, now, uh, you two run. Run? In this tight dress? <laughs> <laughs> Now you have a nice time. You do, and you'll get it from me. <laughs> Bye, darlings. <laughs> All right. I resign as your daughter. Beg pardon, darling. How could you do this? Here I am, all dressed up, and you bring that, 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 that nitwit here. Who needs brains when you look like that? You asked for it. Trying to pull that phony, sophisticated act on your father. Now we're even. Oh! You, you send my... Her... 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 <clears throat> See, you've even made me cough. You send my fiancé out with that gorgeous Gertie, and all you can say is we're even. Hmm. Well, we're not. I can be trickier than you, you know. That's the spirit. Think of a good one, honey. A real good one. <laughs> <laughs> Sock comes home, Rollo. Will you please ask him to call me? If he ever comes home. Hmm. Bye. Still up, eh, Mandy? Can't take it, huh? <laughs> oh, go to sleep. <laughs> Hello, baby. I saw the light on. I thought you were waiting up for me. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. I just happened to be chasing a mouse. At three o'clock in the morning? In high heels? It was a tall mouse. <laughs> Where were you? And what were you doing until three o'clock in the morning? I'm whispering because my father can hear, but inside I'm yelling. Yeah. Honey, you'll never believe this. I know. Go ahead. After the restaurant, I couldn't get rid of Linda. So we went to a drive-in movie. You didn't? Yeah. Oh, we didn't stay in the car. We stayed at the soda fountain. Huh. Yeah, she's a soda slurper. She had eight. She made me drink six. <laughs> Honest. Smell my breath. Strawberry. I finally fell asleep. Don't tell me that. You just happen to be human. I'm not human. I love you. I mean, you're hanging an innocent human. You have no right to be out at night with another woman. Remember, you happen to be my husband. The jig is up. First pretty face and you forget that we're married. Please, honey, you'll wake your father. I'll never forget you're my wife. I... <laughs> I heard everything. <laughs> Putting on an act for me, eh? <laughs> Pretending to be married. You can't fool me. You're my daughter. You're too smart to marry him. <laughs> what a weird night. Mm. At least your father is sure we're not married, Mrs. Miller. Oh, the minute you walked out the door with Linda, I knew I wasn't a born sophisticate. You know who got the worst beating of all? Rollo. <laughs> Rollo. I think I'll finish him off. <laughs> no. Cleo, you woke me up. Can your dog dial a phone?